everybody, welcome back to another episode of FTL. Uh, in this fancy ship that we have just the glade beam and it's a terrible, oh, it's a terribly great weapon. I, I have a lot of fun with it. So we're getting a little bit low on the fuel and so we probably should be on the eyes out for a little bit more fuel. Although I haven't been really reckless with my fuel, I've been actually trying to buy it whenever I can. Um, so there's a rebel scout, uh, scout on approach to a small refueling outpost. Oh, this might be a good sign. Maybe I'll give it some fuel. The weapons are charged, but they're not firing yet. We'll intervene to defend the outpost. Uh, they don't know who we are, but whatever, defy, okay. Um, nobody defies the rebel fleet. So, uh, they have a teleporter bay, which is bad news for me. So I'm gonna cloak immediately, just so the guy can't get on my ship. Uh, and at the same time, I will go and do this. So their weapons are not charging. And, and yeah, so they won't, this is a halberd beam, which is bad news if I was actually going to get killed by that at all. I'll just let him kill it. Don't worry, it's okay, because his ship will die and then we'll kill this guy. No, actually he won't die. That was actually surprising. Oh, well, they'll probably beam him back now. He's, he's got one laser though, which is bad news for me. Oh god. You, know, you, you can have the cockpit. No, actually, I, I can't because. Damn it to hell. Okay. Okay, hopefully he's not gonna hit weapons. No, he hit my weapons. Alright, while we, while we get that working again, uh, let's go cloak our ship. Actually, no, you deal with that first. Actually, I'm, I don't know why I'm really doing the small bomb right now. I, th I think I think my intent was I could possibly. Yeah, at this point he's got his beam weapon charged, which is uh, a big problem for me. This guy has low health, but I can't really take him off of the thing right now. Um... Okay, I'm gonna just keep oxygen depowered for now. I don't want to risk it. Hopefully, do not hit my weapons bay. I swear to God, if you hit my weapons bay, I'm so gonna just wreck you. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, so we salvage what we can. One fuel, one missile, 30 scrap. And it gives me three fuel and 31 scrap, because those bastards, whatever. You know, Federation are kind of dicks, so. Okay, that was that went a lot luckier than it probably could have been. Um, uh, well, unlucky at the same time because they did hit my weapons at some point. So whenever they hit your weapons, it's basically you just you know you get fucked. That's that's just the name of the game here. Um, hence why it's such a frustrating ship. Uh, however, uh, I do have a fair bit of scrap. Uh, let's just see where I can jump to right now. There's a store right there. So we're gonna go to the store. I really hope that there's nothing on this path because I want to kind of go to the store path and I can go up here. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Uh, yep, that's the plan. Oh, don't worry, I'll depower my medbay when I get there. Oh, look, it's the exact same planet. Oh, let's go attack. Oh, they have two, two units of shields. Hmm. We'll attack them anyways. Okay, so, even though this is a really fucking awful idea, uh, you'll understand why in just a minute. Uh, I may have just screwed myself, but who knows, we'll see. So that's two bars of shields. It means I'm only doing one damage per room with my glaive beam. Uh, it's definitely gonna take more than two two shots to basically take this take this fucker down. But you know, I might get lucky. I, I decided that getting the extra crew member is worth chancing this. Okay, there's a missile coming right towards me. I can't do anything. And he missed. Luckily for me. Even though it's like 20% evade, there's like, you know, eh. And they have no one on their thing. Oh, that missile charges so quickly. My engines got hit. Luckily, though, I can just now cloak again. And now he's not charging that weapon anymore. He's only got one bar of shields, so, you know, uh, it's only a mantis on it right now, which is good for me. So I'll just hit him again. I will accept the rougher, and I will take your guy. So there's a rock guy now, uh, which I'll primarily use, I guess, for shields if, if I ever get it. Uh, but, you know, for now, this is actually okay. So, uh, my, my risk paid off. I only took a little bit of hull damage, but out of that, I got, I got a really nice, uh, Mr. Mr. Bugger. Uh, who's our, I don't know, I guess he's just gonna be the guy who just repels borders and shit like that. I got nothing else to do with him. 
but hey, a crew member is worth it. Okay, a small engineer is set up shop here. Once again, taunting me with shields. And also a crew teleporter, but neither of these I actually want, and I don't want either of these either, because these are like, eh. Uh, what I'm actually going to do in this case, is I'm going to put another power into weapons. And then I'm going to buy as much fuel as I can, and then just one thing of this. So I'm, I have fuel. My hull integrity should last. It should be okay. Um, but the main thing now is that I actually have a small bomb at my disposal, which means uh, I can now take down uh, shields that have two points. Uh, sorry, two points. So, like, I can easily take that down now. Uh, potentially more, even. Uh, so I have a, I now can actually potentially beat the game with this setup. It will be difficult, and it, I'd probably be better off either having another bomb or like an ion bomb or something. Ion bombs are the best. Ion bombs just kick everything's ass. But that's 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 why I have this now. So, and as I said, 50 scrap is a lot to get another weapon slot, which is why you do that. Okay, and so he says, uh, we could really use some help. Our FTL navigation system is shot. Uh, can you help us to nearby station? Sure, I'll accept. One fuel is one fuel. Fuck, it's all the way down there. I don't think I'm gonna bring him there. Alright, so there's an abandoned station. There's faint life signs on the board. I'm going to scrap the debris for debris, because that's that's a really bad sign, so let's scrap it for debris. So, we collect scrap and that's it. Uh, and so there's two ships right here, so... Honestly, uh... Yeah, you, I'd have to go to the exit, and then I'd have to go here, so that's a total waste of time. I'm not, I'm not even going down there. Sorry, sorry, uh, rock ship, you're gonna just have to deal with it. There's a ro rebel on me, scout, uh, he appears to be deactivated. Um, once again, I don't really need the information on this, and I don't want to do this fight, because he's got, no, he's got two bars of shield, you can imagine how hard this fight would be, so... It's better to play it smart and just not activate him, not fight him, or anything like that. And, once again, the game fucks me. And gives me this guy. Great. Okay. So, uh, he's gonna charge his FTL drive as well. Uh, it's safe to say he's just gonna get away, so... Let's charge up our FTL drive. Oh god, he's got a lot of weapons, too. Okay, we have we have no business with this, that's it. We're gonna wait for him to fire, and then we're, I'm gonna cloak our ship. At this point, I, I, I kinda wanna actually have... This is not the stuff that will hurt me that much. Fuck that. That looks really threatening. I'm actually gonna charge my FTL drive and try and jump away before he does, uh, believe it or not. I, I, I don't want to fucking fight this guy. I'll see I'll see if I can hit his weapons a little bit. You know, just, th that's it. That's that's all I really can do. Oh god. Technically I could use a small, the small bomb to like, take out his weapons maybe, but, you know, I, I just want him to leave. Just get out of here. Fuck off and go tell your rebel, rebel ship stuff. Uh, he, yeah, he's gonna inform us where we are. That's okay, though. It's a good thing he jumped away, because I would have, yeah, I see, like, the huge jump from them. So we're gonna go up here, then here, then here. So that's how, that's their plan now. Alright, let's see what we got in store here. Um, ooh, they'll give me a system repair drone. I'll take that. Better than fighting someone with two shields. So, system repair drone right there. I can just sell it. That's okay. I'd probably take more hull damage dealing with them than anything else, so, you know. So as a traveling merchant, heal bomb, don't want, pike beam, don't want. There's a, also another scrap recovery arm, which I could potentially buy and get even more scrap, technically, I think. I, th I think they stack. Fuck it, why not? Let's do that. There you go. Now we're, now we're, now we're whores for scrap. And let's just go right to the exit. And not that much fuel left, I probably should have bought some fuel at that store, but okay. Uh, and probably should have had enough money to buy fuel from this station. Oh well. Uh, next sector. Civilian sector. What What are you gonna do, kids? You can't win them all. Uh, so new sector. We have to jump before the rebels catch us. Our lucky charms. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna head up here. Try and avoid those, those uh, nebulas, because it's terrible. At this point, attacking... Uh, the ship, because I, I, I'm kind of in need of fuel at this point. Um, so he doesn't have a cloak, so I'm actually probably just going to kick his ass. This is a pretty weak ship, actually. He's got no shields either, so... I love the cloak, though. The cloak noise is awesome. So I, I'm not powering my S-bomb because I don't really need it right now. Eventually it'll come in handy. It's, it's just a nice thing to have. I have I have encountered two ships so far with two bars of shields. So this is when they start to get more powerful. Uh, especially on normal difficulty, it's just, you know, it's it's not easy. 
By the way, I hit their weapons first because I didn't want them to, to fire weapons in case they did charge in time. But we got 30, 37 scrap out of that. And four fuel, some drone parts, and some more scrap out of that. So that's not too bad. And we get two stores. I don't know if I really want to go to both of them, but I guess I will. Uh, okay, let's check it out. Uh, shield, drone control, crew teleport, none of this I particularly want. Drone control isn't out of the question because of the fact that, you know, I would be able to get potentially a defense drone, but I'm going to leave that be. And I'm going to I'm gonna actually not buy fuel from that station because I'm going to check out the next one and see if that has anything. Look at those two. Oh, fuck. Weapon pre -igniter. Uh I can't get it. Or I could. If I sold the S-bomb. Okay, buying this would fuck me, basically, because I would... It's it's nice. It's a really nice weapon, uh, but it's just I don't have enough scrap for it. So, sorry, sorry, kiddos, uh, sorry, kiddos. That's it. Oh, actually, wait. Well, do you have any other? Uh, I should probably check that. Oh, he's got another S bomb, but that's. I uh, I could do that. I could have two S bombs. I mean, I have another opportunity. So two S-bombs is pretty good. You'll take down a fair number of shields. It's just that you usually want like an ion bomb or something as your second one. I will not dare risk it. I have a lot of systems to go. I'll probably get another one. All right, and uh, another quarantine planet, so he's boring as hell. All right, we're gonna go down then up since we can just cut across to here. Uh, it unfortunately looks like we're not gonna really like be able like all these systems are actually really spread apart Look at this. I can't even well I can reach these ones I just have to go like all the way around, but this is like the worst system in the in the galaxy All right, who's this guy? All right, so he's gonna have a teleporter He's gonna try and teleport onto my ship. We're gonna cloak. Oh We need to also power that weapon So I'm gonna just bring him into here prematurely I'm not really gaining much by having him on that right now. Okay, so prematurely I'm just gonna go and fire the bomb weapon on, on the shields. And then we're gonna just do this. They really, the rock guy will, will be able to hold that off for now. There you go. Okay. So we should they whenever they charge their teleporter, they should just like immediately yeah, I should really get some more power and weapon and engines. Okay, you, you can just leave. You want cameras? You can have them. They're all yours. Okay. Thank God he didn't hit my anything else. Alright, uh, they're attacking my cloak right now. Uh, let's, uh, full power their cloak. They still hit that fucking engine bay. That's, that's ridiculous. Now, the problem is, though, that they're not gonna be able to... Okay, let's just kill all these guys. So we got some uh, substantial collection of useful scrap material. So everyone's gonna help out here. And we'll just equalize pressure. It's gonna be like a co-op uh, co thing where everyone helps and repairs the ship now. Come on everybody, do your part. Save the galaxy and all that. This is actually, this is kind of a weird one, because I, I took a lot of da I technically took a lot of damage from all this, but, you know, I, I don't, I don't really know. It's interesting how this kind of turned out, because all my, all my systems are literally damaged, except for the weapon. In which case, I got kind of like reverse lucky there, that like, you know, I did get hit, but it wasn't in the place that prevented me from killing him, so, you know, it's much better this way. And let me get myself over there, and Cam can help repair as well. We'll just wait for everything to come back online before we leave. Oh well. Okay, so the rock guy did his job. He kind of delayed them. Uh, at this point, uh, let's see what's close by. Okay, nothing. Okay, so... More power to engines. There we go. Our evade just went up by a, a cool solid a 10%, which I kind of waited probably longer than I probably should have to do that, but I was kind of looking at the stores. The stores were more valuable to me at the time, so... Uh, yeah, that's um, that's my justification. That's what I'm rolling with. All right, so I can sell drone parts for scrap. I will definitely do that because drones are utterly useless to me. And we'll do one more uh, ship here before we go to that store. Assault and shield. All right, and unfortunately my weapons are also down. I uh, sorry, my shield, my my engines are. This is 
probably one of the worst cases I could probably ever ask for. Okay, so in the case of it, when you're forced to fight someone with a Zoltan shield, it's best to actually hit their weapons room last, with a slight chance that perhaps, you know, you know, it, it it's maybe it'll, uh, like maybe it'll it'll hit that like when the shields go completely down. But he's got two bars of shields. It's going to be very very screwbally. Um, it is possible for me to use the uh, the S bomb and like take it down a little bit more, uh, which I might actually do. Uh, it's it's one bomb and I'll take down his things a bit more. It missed anyways. So utterly useless waste of time. Yeah, so I did I did get his I did get that beam weapon down. Fortunately, my chance to dodge is gonna be just fucking garbage right now. This game just loves to screw me. I don't even know why I brought him out of that room. All right, uh, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, when my cloak goes back up, and we're gonna cloak, and unfortunately the 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 S bomb did miss. However, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fire it right off the bat, and I'm not gonna fire the glade beam because I want the S bomb to weaken him up, so I can get him in one hit. And it finally the stars aligned, and I for once hit his thing. So I'm gonna go in the other direction, so I hit that shield room first. And I killed him. As I said, Zoltan shields are a bit of a challenge, but you know, eventually you can, you can do it. Uh, and so we salvaged some more scrap from him. Not really a worthwhile fight for me. I, I would have liked to avoid that if I could have. But you know, I couldn't, so go figure. And it's good to steal everybody just so they uh, have full health. All right. Oh, 99, 99 health is like not not like you know that's not full heal. Okay, I'm a giant numbers whore, and we'll go to the store now. And let's see what we got here. Hopefully an iron bomb. Nope, just another S bomb. Well, nothing's worth really getting rid of. Uh, so we'll buy as much fuel as we can and max out our hull, and that's it. We could go down here and then come back up. I don't know if that's really worth that. You know, there's nothing there. I don't see anything there. If I see a ship in the other area, then you know, then I it's probably worth it for the scrap, but it's not at this point. So let's see. We can sell missiles for scrap. I'm gonna ignore the station because I need all my scrap at this point. And since there's nothing up there, we're gonna just go to the next sector, a pirate controlled sector. It's an ugly sector. Pirate controlled sectors just means I think there's more hostile enemies, but it doesn't mean there's necessarily people with Sultan shields. So those are those are a okay to go into. But, um, yeah, look at that. I'm already surrounded. Oh, well. Well, well let's begin it off and, uh, holy shit. All right. So he's going to bring his guy over here. Oh, they were going to both board. Okay, I probably could have waited on that one, but, you know, that's okay. So at this point, um, I can't even get in there. So we're going to just uh, wait for a second and... Uh, my oxygen. You know, getting getting some better doors wouldn't be out of the question. Uh, let's see. Okay, we'll glade beam his ass. Uh, I could have done that before. Oh boy. Maximum, maximum engines. Oh yes, it missed. That oh, was seriously l some luck. Alright. So, now they have more evade. I'll have a better chance of evading, as you know. Alright, you can have that now. Oh god, don't kill him. Don't kill him! Thank you. Don't go for my weapons room, for the love of god. Okay, go for the doors. I don't give a shit about the doors. Alright, uh, let's see here. Oh boy, okay, cloak. Oh boy, okay, so now... Now those assholes are in my... Weapons room. I can't let this go down because I basically lose my ability to kill him. So I have to distract them in the meantime. This should be enough to bring them off my ship, though. So he's gonna power up his FTL drive. Now he's gonna offer me missiles and scrap, uh, missiles, fuel, and scrap. And I will take that. Um, I don't know why he didn't take his fucking crew with him. Okay, there we go. Now we did it. 
All right, I'll, I won't lie, that was a little bit of touch and go for a while there. Uh, that was probably the best way I could have handled that. Um, as I said, continuing to attack a ship, keeping my weapons online, because the best defense is often a good offense. Uh, whatever. I, I, whatever that phrase is. You know what I meant. All right, can get get your ass back on weapons. And I'll get back on the, uh, the piloting. Because I would be the captain of the giant railgun ship. Stealth railgun ship, mind you. Alright, so let's see. So, we got, um... You know, Doors... At this point, I'm, I think I'm gonna get boarded a whole lot more, so Doors is not out of the question anymore. Um, I have four bars and engines, which is pretty good. Um, and, you know, and the way I power my stuff is I can bring my Zoltan in here and take the... Take it back out, so... So Doors, you know, it's a fragile ship and it'll give me a couple more options, so it's not too bad. Oh god. Okay, let's just power our FTL drive and not fight this guy. Uh, I'm just gonna cloak it immediately. And I have no power in my O2. I'm just gonna keep this guy in the, the med bay, might as well. It's, that's his home. Alright. I could try and kill him, but honestly, my strategy here is I'm, I, I just I don't want to fight this guy. Fine, let's try it. Yeah, see, I miss. And by the way, if I use my glade beam, it will fucking it will not do a thing because it, it's just it, it's he's got three units of power. Yeah, he can go ion me. Yeah, that's okay. That, great, great ions there, buddy. I mean, he only has a laser, but it's still like this is so not worth my resources because it will cost me missiles to basically try and get through his 3.3 bars of shields. Uh, so, uh, for a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. It's a fucking hold up, so I'm gonna go and say no, and I will. I will definitely regret this decision. All right. So let's see. There's a mantis going in that room too, and that's it. We cloak. Hopefully, they go into my med bay. I so hope they do. Come on, beam into the med bay. You know you want to. All right, so we wait for a second just because. And now we S bomb. All right. Uh, we can wait for another S bomb potentially, but I would actually prefer not to. I'm just gonna go and try and hit his weapons room so to get to get some weapons down. Okay, so he did get some weapons off, which is not good for me. Okay, he did hit me a bit. Uh, so what my priority is right now is actually just want this to... I want them to try... I'm just going to try and suffocate them. Okay, so I, I, di I did hit his shield room again. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna power the med bay a little bit. Oh god. Uh, wait, we can actually power the cloak. Yeah. That's what I like. Alright, let me just n not do the, the S bomb right now. Because I think we can make do without. I think I'm doing pretty well now. Uh, I can probably put this guy back on. Back on weapons, actually. Uh, seven missiles, one drone parts, 25 scrap. I'll take that too. That's okay. Remember, I'm, I am attempting to stockpile this shit on purpose. Now, by the way, buy, buying another power bar uh, will actually give me some more breathing room. I won't have to take power up oxygen constantly, which is, I guess, kind of a bonus. So, you know, breathing room, that's good with me. I like to breathe. Breathing is nice. Have you tried it? <laughs> All right. Well then, uh, so we took him out, uh, surprisingly enough. Uh, so now we can actually go over here. I think everyone's back to full health, and we're good to go. All right. So who's this? Uh, he wants to be escorted. Uh, the region is quite dangerous, and our ship is not well armed. Uh, you are more than welcome to come with me because you will give me fuel. Uh, so I'm thinking we just kind of go up and around. Because I want to get this distress beacon too. Uh, just just be distress beacon in the small asteroid felt. Our shields are down, and we don't know how much longer we can last. I'm going to try and <laughs> try and shield their ship with yours and escort them out of the field. Sure, let's do that. One stray hit, a rock hits a key structure. Uh, uh, you try your best, but one key structure, uh, one stray rock hits a stru key structure in their ship. It breaks apart in front of your eyes. You salvage what you can. Try and not think about the lost screw. So we got some free scrap out of it. Not too bad. We'll get the possible ship, then go up, and then down. That's the plan. 
Probably shouldn't power my med bay anymore. Uh, you arrived in an empty system, but a ship appears from behind the planet and hails it. Ha! I am the Dread Pirate Tuco. Tuco. Prefer to die. He's got a dumb name. Take out his oxygen. Alright. They don't have a teleporter, so we're, we'll be okay. Once again, though, we are now fighting ships with, with three bars of, of, of shields. It's actually pretty fucking awful. So, you know, it's just one of those things you have to kind of deal with. Luckily, we did hit him. They have a system repair drone, though. That's not going to be good. They're going to repair that in, like, an instant. I, but I took that out, luckily. Okay, let's just get that. You're gonna have to help out here. Uh, all of those fucking hit. Because our evade is so low because he actually hit us with that. But luckily we can we can keep taking out people with the system bomb though. Oh boy, that thing charges like instantly. Luckily though, Cloak is here to save the day. Mind you though, if I if I do um, use the system bomb, it, it, it will damage crew members, which is kinda nice. Uh that's a lot of fuel and well that's not too much. Uh eh, I can do better. Fuck that. I have a lot of missiles at this point. Hey, you see? Okay, you did do better. There you go. Not too bad. That's what I mean, you know, it, this is like the, the, the difficult part about it. It's like you have to deal with three shield ships. And it just, it gets ridiculous later, but you know, it, it's it's kind of, it's just kind of fun challenge, you know. It's, it's, this is why I liked it so much and why I played it so much. Um, but yeah, so. He'll give me three drone parts, and I will say no for that. All right, let's go bring him all the way to the end. Uh, the ship said uh, that you were screaming. Says I don't think we can. We could have made it without our help. Uh, your help. Uh, our friends will patch up your hull and show you our wares. Okay. Another weapon pre-igniter. Uh, this one I can actually buy. And also stealth weapons. Wow. Nice. I'm a stealth ship, and stealth weapons would be nice. Although technically my weapons can just be fired whenever they want to be. You know what, stealth weapons cost 50, it's not worth it. I, I, I can't afford it to begin with. But I do have the weapon pre-igniter, and now just watch me wreck this entire sh this, this entire game now. Man, this is gonna be fun. Okay, this is pr quite possibly this thing. Okay, hostiles be much my ship prepared for fight. Where the fuck are they? Oh, you're, you're in there, huh? Oh, you're more than welcome to come into there. But they look like they're all split up. Dude. Are they attacking my O2? Oh, they did. Those fuckers. Alright. Alright, let's just leave. Why are you going for doors out of all the things? Whatever, I'll just fucking vent the atmosphere here too. Look at that, every time they come in here, it's like they're fucked. No, no, close the door. Haha. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Feel free to go there. I'll just vent atmosphere there too and not have oxygen. Are they dead yet? Okay, let's go and get the atmosphere going again. Alright, uh, we're gonna have to bring him back. Let's bring the Zoltan back. Oh boy, oh boy, oh god. Ooh. The oxygen is almost up. Uh, the med bay isn't being powered though. Okay, I, I might lose this guy. Uh, he's so dead. Oh my god, he lived! With what HP? Clutch. Clutch. I, I didn't deserve to keep him. I didn't deserve to keep myself. One fucking HP. So clutch. I am the greatest at this game. I love, I, I love FDL. Man. One fucking HP. One fucking HP. Good job. I'm not gonna get over that. This is the this is now the name of this this episode is one fucking HP. 
I think I should wait for my uh, my oxygen to come back up a little bit. Seems like a good idea. God damn that that I did not I, you know I don't deserve that crew member. I think I should just space him. Uh, we're not gonna wait. Let's just oxygen will go up enough. And the FTL drive. Uh, there's a refueling station here. We can purchase fuel here. It would have been nice to have the ability to purchase fuel, but I used up all my scrap. So there's either a slug control nebula or pirate sector. Let's go to the pirate sector because I hate nebulas. And with that, uh, I guess that's it for this, this episode. Uh, it's been uh, overrun by... This episode has been overrun by bandits and marauders. Yeah, so that's it for this one. Um, so I hope you're enjoying and my little clutch run of this, uh, this ship here. And uh, I guess I'll be seeing you guys next time. Bye.